Hello guys, welcome to data manipulation with NumPy tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about statistics part one, which is about calculating the median, the mean and weighted average. So from this tutorial, you will be learning about how to calculate the median, mean and weighted average of two dimensional arrays. Okay, let's import the NumPy array first that as an NP, and then create the two-dimensional array. Uh, in this uh, case, I, I use a range that is uh, just from one up to 50 with a stepwise two from uh, every uh, two elements. So it adds two from the first, starting from the first uh, element or one, the second element in this array is three and, and so on. Uh, so we will have 25 number of elements uh, uh, in this array and we reshape this array into two dimension. That is five by five. We, so we will have five rows and five columns. So the reshape is very important. So we can just see the array. So this is a two-dimensional array uh, with five rows and five columns. So the dimension is, we can check out the dimension that is five by five. So we will have 25 total number of elements. We can just multiply the dimension, five times five is 25. You can count uh, the dimension or you can also use uh, size to find the total number of elements in the array, that is 25. Okay, how can we calculate the median of array elements along specified axes from this two-dimensional array? So as you know, uh, in statistics or in uh, mathematics, median is the middle element in the vector or array. So a given vector of V of length N, that is, N is the total number of elements. In our case, we have 25 total number of elements. The median uh, of V is the middle value of a sorted copy of V. That is V sorted. So we just find the element which is found in the specified position of that uh, sorted array. That is uh, N minus one divided by two when n is odd. So in our case, n is odd. The total number of elements uh, is 25. 25 is not even. So we use this formula. That is n is 25. 25 minus one is 24 divided by two is 12. So the middle element is found at position 12 in the array. When n is even, the average of the two middle values of sorted array. So when in n is even, so we just uh, use n divided by two. So if n is even. So how can we find the median? Uh, so this is the formula actually. So we can use uh, uh, median from, I mean, sorry, np dot median function and we pass 2D. So the middle element in the array is 25. That is found at position uh, 12. So you can count this. This is position one, position, I mean, uh, position zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That is the 30th element in the array. Uh, what about if we specify the axis? The axis means, so we have two dimensional array. So we have rows and columns. And when we specify the axis, either a row or column, so we can find uh, the middle, the median of or the middle uh, elements in the array from that specified axis. Okay. For example, median array. 2D, that is we specify axis to zero 
if I want to find the middle element across the column, column across that is column wise, uh, let's compare by printing that. So 21, uh, for example, 21 uh, find this one at the first column that is found at uh, position two in row position two, zero, one, two. And uh, because it just takes the dimension, not the total number of elements. So each from each dimension in the column, in the column, for example, in the first column, we have five elements. From that five elements, uh, so five is odd. So we just subtract five minus one divided by two, that is two. Two is found at position row two, position row two. So it Found, uh, find this all elements at position row two, row two, or each elements across the column, across the column that is uh, like this. Is our uh, column wise? That is uh, uh, when you specify the axis is zero. That is a column wise, or a single row, or the middle uh, row from uh, the total rows in the array. So we have five rows, the middle element, the middle row from each, uh, from the total number of uh, rows is this one at position two. When, when, when you change this one, that is row wise, but we just find the middle column for, from uh, the total number of column. So the total number of columns, the array is five, five minus one divided by two is two, that uh, the middle uh, column in this uh, columns is found at position column two. That is five, 15, 25, 35, 45. So the result of this uh, specified uh, axis, the median of the specified axis is array. That is array, not the total number of the middle element of the total number of uh, elements. That is uh, either column or row wise. Okay, what about the, me the mean? That is finding the average of uh, elements in the array. So that is, uh, we can use mean to D. That is 25. So we can sum up each element in the array and divide it by the total number of elements in the array. So we have 25. So it, it sum up uh, each element, but what about if we specify the axis, axis is zero. It just, uh, the result returns array. The result would be array. So uh, this is axis is zero means it's uh, calculators. It sum up each column element and divided by the total number of uh, that column. So we have, for example, in the first, one plus 11 is 12, plus 21 20, uh, is 33, plus 31 is 64, plus 41 is 105, divided by five, that is 21, and so on. It continues until the end of each uh, column in the array. Uh, when you change to one, that is the row wise, uh, I mean, column wise, but we sum up each col uh, row and get one result from each row. For example, one plus three, four plus five, nine plus seven, 16 plus nine, 25, 25 divided by five is five. For the second row, just sum up and divided by five, get the result like this. So we get uh, arrays of a single dimensional array. So the result of a specified axis is a single dimensional array. These are uh, sum up each uh, column values and divided by the total number of columns. Or when, when we specify axis is one, we just sum up each row and divided by the total number of rows in the array. 
Okay, the third one is weighted average of R elements along the specified axis. This is uh, similar to mean, but there is some differences. An array of weights associated with the values in array, each value in the array contributes to the average according to its associated weight, based on the weight we specify in the average. So the weights array can either be 1D or the same shape as the array has. If weights is none, then all data in the array are assumed to have a weight equal to one. So the one dimensional calculation is one dimensional array calculation is sum up the array of that multiplied by the weights divided by the sum of weights. So how can we find the weighted average? Average and we pass to D. So uh, this is the same result with the mean that is average but what about we specify the weights uh, in each axis so axis is for example one and so in that is we have five rows so we specify the weights of one two zero three five so we we should specify five elements in the weight. And so we get the result is uh, this one, a single dimensional array. So it's just calculate uh, each element in the array by this and divided by the array. For example, this is five. Uh, let's simply show you. Uh, the sum of this is uh, the axis is zero. That is sum of the first column, hundred five, hundred five. I mean, uh, each weight element multiplied by each element in uh, each column, each column. One times one, like that. Sum one times two. Uh, I mean, eleven times two, and so on. Then the total uh, sum would be uh, like this. And when, when you change uh, axis to one, it's, for example, in this case, one times one is one, right? Plus two times, uh, two times three is five. Five plus one is six. Five times zero is zero. Zero plus six is six. Seven times three is uh, 21, 21 plus six is 27, five times uh, nine is uh, 45 plus 21 is 66 divided by five is 6.63 something, right? So the same is true for others. Why we use uh, this masked uh, or weights? Uh, weights uh, is very useful if we have uh, data which contains missing values. So it fills uh, that missing value. None missing value means, for example, in this uh, three uh, is replaced by none value, not a number or missing value. So it replaces by uh, two. That is a masked. So we just uh, help us to fill missing values in the average. That is the difference between uh, mean and median. I mean, mean and weighted average. So uh, most of the time, if you are working on uh, large data, so you can, uh, uh, you are recommended to use weighted average rather than using the mean to find out the average of uh, your data. So th these are the very basic uh, uh, tutorials you should know uh, before getting into uh, getting started to data analysis. Thanks for watching today.